My nickname in junior high was useless. <laughs> Everyone called me that, even the girls. Yep. <laughs> Worst part about it, it was my friend's mom who gave it to me. <laughs> she saw me playing soccer. It wasn't my best game, granted. But I think sayings were sung after the game. Boy, that Anderson kid is useless. <laughs> Might have been a bit harsh. <laughs> you had to tell everybody it's good. Everyone thought it was very funny. Kids can be so cruel. <laughs> oh, who cares? <laughs> The eight trackers, he came to me, red punch in hand, the punch a shade of angst. How long a tracker? The party began to spin, the breath of night sour on my cheeks. They were upon me, they knew, they knew, they knew. I did not understand the format, the clacks, half-split tracks. Why listen to old tape when there's digital technology? And the egg trackers shoved my face into their bowl of angst. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> hey! Anyone here from out of town? What's up with airplanes? You're all sitting with your knees in your chest and they give you a little pack of four pretzels. What is that? <laughs> One pretzel per hour? I don't want a little pack of pretzels. And I'm always stuck sitting next to some snotty little kid. I hate little crying kids. Kids and pretzels? Fuck! <laughs> I'm gonna level with you. I've been meaning to do a one-person show for years now. I set up this engagement and... I just never got around to writing anything. <laughs> yeah, I have about a thousand DVDs. I'm a collector. <laughs> a week ago, I, w I was going to cancel, but then I thought, it, 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 if I kept the date, maybe I'd be forced to come up with something spontaneously, you know, like Robin Williams or something. I didn't. <laughs> I'm not really very spontaneous, I guess. I'm more about fear. <laughs> I, I got to do a one-person show. Okay? I, I, I want to be in the movies. They give sitcoms to people in one-person shows. They give movies to people in sitcoms. It's very simple. <laughs> I, I've been going out in auditions for five pilot seasons now, and I haven't booked one. Five years, and I haven't been able to get a single TV show. Uh, 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 yeah, I got a line on Will and Grace and a bunch of lines on Becker, and I'm grateful, but I need my own show. <laughs> and they won't give me one. Why? Because all of the sitcoms go to people with one-person shows! <laughs> I'm really sorry. This is embarrassing. Uh, maybe you can get your money back. I, I don't know. I, I'm going to leave you alone. <laughs> you, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to quit acting altogether. I'm going to get a real job. Nine to five. I'm going to stop being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, except they got no skill. <laughs> the BFA acting was an error in judgment. Look, I'm just... I'm going to go. I'm going to take a week anyway. I'm really sorry. I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Big Top. Steve? Todd. That's Todd. my director. Steve, where are you? We Todd. Why? Geely? <laughs> Why are you on the show? You're a Geely? Todd. What? Look, I hear you're bombing, man. Well, you gotta remember what we talked about. What? The pants. The pants? Remember? The pants. The... Oh, I gotta go. <laughs> the pants! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
one person show, God damn it, here tonight, nothing's gonna stop me. And someone here is gonna give me a sitcom. <laughs> okay, we're gonna figure this thing out together. According to Eric Bogosian's pants, the one person show can be performed by one of two kinds of people. A woman <laughs> or a man. <laughs> I am not a woman. So this is what we're up against. <laughs> now, the pants said that the trick is to find the right angle for my show, where I come off as a completely sympathetic character. You've got to be sympathetic to get a sit. <laughs> and apparently, the best way to do this is to tell a story where I rise above a major obstacle of some kind, thus inspiring the audience to do the same. Now, if I can't do this, then I don't get my sitcom, I do not become a movie star, and I don't spend the rest of my life surrounded by bags of cash. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's important that you know that for me this isn't just about money. <laughs> it's also about being on television. <laughs> okay. So what kind of show do I do? There are three subgenres to the one-man show. Okay, we've got the stand-up comic show. Simply put, this would require that I be funny for an hour. That makes me <laughs> An hour is a mighty long time in regard to being funny. See, when you do stand-up, you're supposed to be completely honest, but your complete honesty has to be accepted on a universal level. Both people living in the city and the country have to relate to you. Usually, this means bits about having kids and race relations. I don't have <laughs> and black people aren't funny anymore. <laughs> but, I could be more of an underground Lenny Bruce kind of guy. Yeah, I don't have to be a Jake Mundane Observation Johansson. Venti coffee? What's that? Grande? What's that? Joe is small? How can that be? Fuck that. <laughs> I'm going to talk about stuff that really pisses me off. And it's funny. Okay. I need a topic. Something a stand-up guy would rant about. Uh, uh, help me out. Just shout out some topics. Uh, give me some topics. Just, great. Uh, just, uh, great! <laughs> Dennis Leary stole his act and gave him cancer. <laughs> <laughs>